Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be diving onto Microsoft Teams and I'm going to show you how you can schedule your virtual meetups. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing you're going to do is open up your Microsoft Teams. Now I've got my demo teacher account here, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now I'm going to navigate to Teams, so simply type teams.microsoft.com and you're good to go. Now as you can see here, I already have my team set up and I have three channels within that team. Now I want to schedule my meetings. Now let's say that I'm going to meet every day for an hour with my class. I can schedule all those virtual meetups ahead of time. Simply go to the correct channel first. So I'm going to schedule a meetup for week two. I'm going to go into that week two. And then we're going to navigate to the top right corner. Now in the top right corner, you'll see a meet button. But what we want is that drop down arrow. Now as soon as you click that, you can start filling out all the information for this meeting. Now once here you can start scheduling your meeting and we're just going to put in a demo meeting. So I'm going to add a title, I'm going to say week two overview, there we go. We're not going to add any required attendees because this will be shared with the entire team. So the entire team is invited and then we're going to set the time. Starts at 12 p.m. and it's going to go on for an hour. There we go. It does not repeat. And then we can even add a location if this was an in-person meeting. However, we're focusing on online lessons now, so we're going to leave it as it is. You can add a description there if you wanted to. And then we're going to click on send. So go ahead and click on send. And this is now being pushed out to all your students. So let's go ahead and open up our student account. I am now in my student account and my student can immediately see that in week two, we have a scheduled meeting. Now, when they click on this, they will open up that meeting page and then they can jump into the meeting. Now, Let's go back to the teacher side because there are a number of additional features and options that you can set up. We are now in our teacher view and here is that scheduled meeting. Now when I click on this, I can also change the meeting options. Now when I click on meeting options, I have a number of additional things that I can tick on or off. Here you can change who is able to bypass the lobby. I'm going to change that to people in my organization only. And then I can also choose that only myself can present. You can change this so that your students can present their screen as well, or you can leave it to just you. Now we are going to untick this, so they do have to go into the lobby first, and then we're going to announce when they join or leave. So go ahead and save this. And now these new options are being pushed out to the meeting. We can close this screen. Now this is not the only way that you can schedule a meeting. You can also go into your calendar and schedule it from there. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. We're going to open up our calendar on the left hand side. And then here we now have an overview of our week. We can either change the dates up here or we can even change the way that we see this view. There we go. I'm going to schedule a meeting for Friday and let's say that I schedule it at 12 o'clock again. All I have to do is tap that and then fill out the information again. So we're going to say another meeting with students. Now here, because we are scheduling our meeting outside of the channel, we are going to have to invite our students. So I'm going to only invite student one and two to this meeting. So let's go ahead and add student one and two. Now, as soon as I click on send the update, those students will be notified. So let's go and have a look at what that looks like to them. I'm now in my student view. And again, because this second scheduled meeting lives outside of the channels, they will have to go onto their calendar to see it. Now on the student's calendar, they can see that meeting. And when they click on it, they will see more information about the meeting. They can also RSVP. So here at the top, they can let me know if they're going to accept this invite or not. Now, once they've accepted this, I will immediately see that as a teacher right here down the side in my overview of attendees. Now let's go back to the student view and let's open up our teams. Now, one of our meetings is about to take place. Now let's have a look at what it looks like when our meeting is going on. Now here you can see we're halfway through this meeting, so I'm going to click on join. Now this is the teacher's view and so we're going to join as a teacher. Let's go ahead and join this meeting. And there we go. We are now in the meeting as a teacher. I'm going to open up the student's view and then you will see how that student will be notified of this meeting going on. 
So right here you can see that now because this meeting is going on there is a little icon there next to the channel that indicates that our meeting is happening. Now they can click on this and they can join the meeting as they would at any other time. Now there's one more feature a teacher can utilize to make sure that all the students are aware of the meeting going on and that is as the meeting is taking place, the teacher can open up the chat window. So let's go ahead and open up our chat window. And now let's use a feature called at mentions to again send out a notification to everyone. So we're going to at, and then we're going to choose our EduFlip demo class. Now go ahead and send this message, meeting starting now. Now as soon as I send this out, a notification goes out to all our students and they will immediately see that it's time for them to join this meeting. You can see here in the bottom right corner, they are notified, meeting starting now, and then they can join this meeting. This is a great way of not only reminding your students that the meeting has begun, but it also allows you to maybe send out a personal message to those one or two students that have missed the notification about this meeting taking place. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, scroll down into that comment section below. Let me know what are your favorite features within my Microsoft Teams and what would you like me to do next? Now on your way back up make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. In the next video of this series we'll look at recording our meetings and then sharing those with our students. I hope you'll join me for that one as well and in the meantime thank you for watching.